Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is Edexcel IGCSE number 30 straight line graphs. And this is my second uh, series of exam questions, so check out the first series if you want some more questions. Right, let's get started. Um, draw the graph, and they've given you a bit of space here to draw a little table, um, which is always a good idea. Uh, so you can not type in the numbers here um, from minus 2 to 3. Uh, this would be your X, this would be your Y, and you can actually use your calculator to help you with this. So if you go into your menu and go down to table uh, and press equals, you can then type in the function, which is 3 minus uh, 2 of X, or, oh, sorry, 3 minus uh, 2X. You don't need a second function, and you want to go from uh, minus 2 up to three and you want to go that in steps of one press equals and there you have your uh, your y values so you have five seven three and one and you can scroll down for the other ones as well and they will be minus one and minus three okay uh, so you go down to your grid and you plot so <clears throat> uh, the first one minus two was at seven and then minus 1 was at uh, 5. Um, 0 was 3. Just making sure you're uh, careful that the scales are slightly different on the x and the y. Um, you've got 1, 1. And you should by now see a straight line coming together. And then you connect it up. And you do so right throughout the domain they ask for. Which is from minus 2 to 3. No more. No less. Bosh. Okay, next question asks us to write down the equation of a straight line with gradient 3, which passes through that point. Okay, well, I know that y equals mx plus c. That's the equation of the straight line. I know that m is the gradient, so that's minus 3. And I also know that c is the y-intercept. So that is the value of the y when x is 0. And that is perfect. It tells me exactly where the y is when x is 0. So it tells what the y-intercept is 5. So therefore, we have everything we need to know, which is y is minus 3x plus 5. Perfect. OK, uh, next question. Uh, this time, the gradient, um, we need to have it in the form again, y equals mx plus c. So, um, at the moment, the x is on the wrong side of the equation. So I need to subtract it from both sides. And that will give me uh, this. And also, the equation is y equals. So it needs to be a single y, not 2y. So I need to divide through. And that gives me this when I divide both sides by 2. So the gradient of the line, remember, is the m part of the equation. And it's minus 3.5. Now, the biggest mistake I see time and time again is that people write minus 3.5x. That's not correct. It has to be just minus 3.5. You won't get the marks if you write x there because that is actually a completely different thing. Okay. Um, and where does it cross the y-axis? Well, that's the intercept. And that is the c part of the y equals mx plus c. That tells me it crosses at 5. And of course, to cross the y-axis, the x must be 0. OK, next one. And we're looking for the find the equations line. OK, in the form y equals mx plus c. Well, we need the gradient first. So I'm going to pick two points on my line which are on slap bang on a coordinate. So I'm not going to pick something like this, for example. That would be a really bad idea. Uh, I'm going to pick that point there, and I'm going to pick this point here. And then I'm going to draw a triangle in order for me to calculate my rise and my run. So the run is how far it's gone to the right, and in this case it is 2. And then the rise is how far it has gone either up or down. And in this case, it has gone up by 3. So that means that m 
is equal to uh, the rise over the run, which is 3 over 2. Now what about C? Well, C is, again, the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis, um, and that is at minus 1. So therefore, I'm good to go to write y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 1. Perfect. Of course, you could say 1.5 as well. Both correct. Okay, next question, and I have two points, and I need to find the equation of the line. So I need to find the gradient first, and the gradient is the change in the y over the change in the x. So in order for me to use this formula, uh, the second uh, coordinate's y value is 7, and the first coordinate's y value is minus 1. So we do 7 minus minus 1, and that will give me 8. And that makes sense because it's taken 8 to get from minus 1 to 7. So that's the change in the y. Okay, let's do the same for the x. Um, x2 is uh, uh, 4. It's the x value of the second coordinate, so that's 4. And then we're minusing the x value of the first coordinate, which is 1. So that gives me 3. So the gradient is 8 over 3. Okay, um, the next thing we need to do is set up a y equals mx plus c. And we need to use one of our points in order to work out the equation of the line to find what the c value is. So I write y is equal to 8 over 3x plus c, because we know the gradient is 8 over 3. And then I know that also all the points on this line are going to be able to satisfy this equation. So if I substitute in any of these points, it should give me, um, well, it should work, basically. And that means it will tell me what the C value is. So I'm going to sub in uh, Y is minus 1 and X is 1. I could have picked 4, 7, but just the minus 1 and the 1, just easier numbers to work with. So minus 1 is equal to 8 over 3 plus c. So to solve for c, I need to subtract 8 over 3 from minus 1. Now, I'd probably use my calculator to do this, just because I wouldn't want to make a mistake, um, work with my fractions. So minus 1, then I take off the 8 over 3, and that gives me minus 11 over 3. OK. So now I can write my equation in full. y is equal to m x and then c is minus 11 over 3 but wait we're not done yet they asked for more they asked for it in this particular form which is a very common type question and they want all of the terms to be integers whole numbers so what can i do to this equation to turn all the numbers integer well we can see that two terms are divided by 3 so i can multiply both sides of this equation by 3 that gives me 3y, it gives me 8x, and it gives me minus 11. So now we're very close. All we need to do now is just to um, collect all the, the terms on one side. So the easiest thing to do is just to minus 8x over. And therefore, we have it written in the form they want. I mean, being pernickety, they do ask for the x first. So I'll just do that now so I don't get absolutely roasted in the comments. <laughs> okay, next question is very similar to the last one. Uh, so I will skip for it at a bit of a quicker pace. Um, we will do uh, the same formula to find the gradient, which will be uh, 2 minus 5 over... 1 minus minus 3, which is minus 3 over 4. So therefore, y is equal to minus 3 over 4x plus c. And I will use this coordinate to find the c value. So y is 2 when x is 1. So therefore, 2 is equal to minus 3 quarters plus c. So the C value will be um, 2 plus 3 quarters, which is um, 11 over 4. 
Yeah. So therefore, uh, y is equal to minus 3 over 4x plus 11 over 4 times everything through by 4 gives me this. And then move the x to the other side, it becomes positive, so I get this. Job done. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did and you want more questions, check out Series 1. And if you want to do different topics, then check out more videos. Bye for now.